Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Debbie and today I'll be ranking palettes from the month of December, palettes that I've been using in the month of December. So if you guys are interested in hearing my thoughts and seeing where these palettes land, then just keep on watching. And before I get started with this video, I just want to remind everybody to please give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel so you don't miss out on any of my videos. And let's just hop right into my palette ranking. So I have nine palettes here that I've been using in the month of December. Um, I'm gonna rank these palettes based off. I'm gonna rank these palettes based off color story and preference because honestly, I haven't had a really, no really bad palettes that I played with in the month of December or November. Um, so these are just palettes. I'm gonna rank them based off of colors and what I'm most likely gonna choose. I mean, there is one palette that I really, there are actually two palettes which are my bottom two palettes that I really did not like, um, formula wise but i could make them work and so let's just hop right into it at number nine it is from morphe is their 35 xo flare palette yeah one of their flare palettes this was supposed to be a like holiday release for december so i did pick it up off of ulta i think it retailed for 25 dollars and as you can see i mostly picked it up for the pink shades and i did play with this palette but i have come to like realized that morphe is really not like my like their eyeshadow palette formula is not really my favorite so that's why this palette ranks so low it wasn't that impressing and i did use it and i did make it work but it's not my favorite and i'm most likely gonna get the clutter of this palette in the near future i'll probably give it like two or three more chances see if, if my mind changes on it but honestly this wasn't a good palette for me and that's why it's ranked in that mind Number nine, coming in at number eight. This is the really shocker. It is the cute little um, I think this is yeah the child palette from ColourPop. This is like a little Disney collab, and this is what he looks like. It's a nice it's a nice green palette, but honestly, I feel like these shades didn't really give me that much pigment on my eyes. It's a very light palette. Like it's not you can't get enough depth in my opinion with this palette. I mean, it's a nice palette. It, it creates cute looks but i i want more from this palette i wish there was more from this palette i wish like the pigmentation was there and my opinion really wasn't at least my palette and the looks that i created with using this palette wasn't that impressing to me i didn't really enjoy the formula on this palette i mean i do love color pops and i did create some cute looks with it but i'm missing something i'm missing color i'm missing something like these two are the deepest shades here and they really don't go that deep like you have to really pack them on in my opinion so that's why this palette came in at number eight coming in at number seven is the vcr neutral palette um there's really nothing wrong with this palette it's just an all matte palette and it's an all matte basic palette so i think that that is good for you know all basic matte colors um but there are palettes in this ranking video that i prefer more but either way i think it's a good palette i think i created a good look with using this palette and it's really not bad. I'm happy it's in my formula. I just like palettes that include both matte and shimmers for it to be a complete palette for me. So that's why it's coming in at number seven. But I did enjoy the formula and I did enjoy this palette. So it's not a bad palette if you're looking for like a basic, everyday, neutral matte palette. <laughs> coming in at number six is the Side by Side palette from Nabla. Um, yeah, it's a new palette. And... It's a nice palette. I did enjoy it, but I don't know. I don't know what's wrong with this palette. I definitely have to give it a little bit more tries, but it wasn't. It really isn't a palette that impressed me that much. It is a good palette, but and, and I did enjoy the formula, but those shimmers, I feel like they could be more bam in your face type of shimmers. And yeah, it's just like an everyday basic palette. I did. I do like it, and I definitely need to work um play with it a little more, but. Like first impression and using it for a while, I feel like the shimmers are a little bit lackluster for me. So that's why it's coming in at number six. Now we're gonna hop into my top five for the month of December. And coming in at number five is the Minix palette from Vizier. This is like their one of their newest palettes. And as you can see, it's just a basic neutral brown orangey color story and yeah so this coming in on my, on my number five there's nothing wrong with this palette i did enjoy this palette but i feel like 
I have a lot of these shades, especially from Viseart in my collection. I wish they would come up with like something more exciting. Like I feel like they have like one pop of color and then the rest are like browns. I have the purple palette too. I haven't played with that one yet. It's probably gonna be featured in my next month um ranking videos if I get to it this month. But that that palette too, it only has like three or four purples and the rest are like neutrals. So yeah, I wish they would come out with something more colorful and keep like the browns out of it but either way this is a good palette it's a palette that will pick up you know more uh, time and time again just to create those basic simple brown looks that i like to create so that's why it's time at number five coming in at number four is the grande palette from colourpop this was a ultra exclusive collection and they dropped it in colourpop website but yeah this is what the shades are like and again, another neutral basic palette. I mean, I, I pretty much all my palettes for the month of December were neutral color. But yeah, this is a great palette. This is the color pop formula that I really like and enjoy. Um, the only thing that sucks about it is that it has a press glitter right here in the middle. But other than that, I think it's a great palette. So yeah. So coming in at number three is another color pop palette. This is a Bondor Duar palette. And it's a really cute palette. It has these little pops of like green on the green there and yeah it's a really nice palette again i do love color pops formula and it has another pressed glitter right here but i think this is like the new um like formula for pressed glitter you can see it's right there it's not that like chunky glitter it's like a really nice fine glitter i mean i don't enjoy glitters in my palette but i don't mind one little glitter but yeah this is the um Bon Dior Noir palette and it's coming in at my number three and I think it's a really nice palette it is available at Ulta and Colourpop as well so if you guys were interested in this palette you could get it in both places <laughs> coming in at number two is from Glam Light and I think this is like the most colorful palette that I played with in the month of December I think this is a great palette I do have a swatching video of this palette and they're like unboxing of the, like the box the pie box that this palette was featured in and yeah it's a nice palette i do love glam lights formula i think all these shades are beautiful i especially love the shade pecan which is this one right here Ugh, such a beautiful um color but yeah I, i'm a sucker for pinks and a little pop of purple so i think this is a great um palette and glam light doesn't disappoint with the palette formulas coming in at number one this is not a new palette but it is it is a new palette for me this is from the test of the Dora, is a mini gold palette i played with this palette in the month of december and i was really impressed and i, I, really, love, I really fell in love with the uh, with this palette and the color story and i think it is a beautiful green palette i did create a couple looks using this palette and i i was in love with all the looks that i created with this palette so i think this is a great palette i'm um, definitely a discoverer for me for the month of december because i did buy this palette i think it was in november and I got to play with it in the month of December and I'm really happy that I own it and it is in my collection and of course it's placed in and of course it came in the number one spot so I'm really happy to have this palette. I love doing these videos because I get to try out palettes that are in my collection or palettes that come into my collection because I do have a lot of palettes in my collection that I have yet to use so this type of videos um, motivate me to use them and motivate me to go dig into my palette collection and try out some palettes that I haven't yet to try out and also play with palettes and also play with palettes that come in this month or any month so yeah so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you give this video a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel um please let me know what palettes you have tried out in the month of December and or palettes that you follow up with or palettes that have disappointed you in the month of December and thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video bye